Want to take your PowerPoint skills to the next level? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an animated infographic slide in PowerPoint, step-by-step, -step, fast, and easy, whether you're designing a professional presentation or just want to wow your audience, this technique will help you stand out. Let's get started. First, let's set up our background. Right-click anywhere on the slide and select Format Background. Now, go to Color, then click More Colors, and switch to the Custom tab. Set the RGB values to Red, 45, Green, 40, and Blue, 55. This will give us a sleek, dark tone as our base. Next, let's design our main shape. Head over to the Shapes menu, select the rectangle, and draw it on the slide. Set the height to 2.01 cm and the width to 14 cm. Now, let's make more copies. Hold Shift plus Control, drag the rectangle upwards, and adjust the gaps as needed until we have a total of four rectangles evenly spaced. Now, let's create a triangle shape. Go to Shapes, select Triangle, and place it over the four rectangles so that it fully covers them. Set the height to 13 cm and the width to 13.5 cm. Adjust its position to ensure the triangle sits just below the last rectangle. Now comes the fun part merging the shapes. Select all the shapes. Go to Shape Format, click Merge Shapes, and choose Fragment. You'll see multiple pieces created. Delete the extra shapes. But make sure to keep this peak shape from the triangle. Next, select these two peak shapes, go to Merge Shapes, and choose Union to combine them into one smooth shape. Now, let's clean up the design. Select all the remaining shapes, go to Shape Outline, and choose No Outline to keep it sleek. To add extra details, duplicate the peak triangle shape by holding Shift plus Control and dragging. Then, flip it vertically under Rotation Options. Scale it down while holding Shift, and set the height to 0.09 cm and the width to 1.1 cm. Change its color by going to Shape Fill, and then position this small triangle at the bottom corner of the rectangle. Duplicate it and place another one on the opposite side. Right-click these shapes, select Send Back, and repeat the process for the remaining rectangles. Time to bring this shape to life with colors. I've got a pre-made color palette, but you can choose your own. First, select a rectangle, go to Shape Fill, choose the eyedropper tool, and pick a light shade color from the palette. Now, select the two small triangle shapes below, go to Shape Fill, and use the eyedropper tool again to select a darker shade. Repeat these steps for the rest of the shapes. Once the colors are set, it's time to add text. To speed things up, I'll use text from a previous design, but feel free to add your own custom content. Now, select all the text and shape elements, and align them to the middle of the slide for a balanced look. Then ungroup the shapes. Next, group the numbers and their respective shapes by selecting them and pressing Ctrl plus G. Repeat this for the rest of the shapes. Then, group the heading text and description paragraphs together using the same shortcut. To bring our design to life, let's add some animations. Select the grouped shape, go to Animations, open the Animation pane, and apply the fly in animation. Then, go to Effect Options and change the direction to From Top. To make the animation smooth, set it to Start After Previous and adjust the duration to 1.50 seconds. Now, in the Animation pane, right-click on the animation, go to Effect Options, Set Bounce End to 1.05 seconds, and hit OK.
To speed up the process, use the animation painter to copy the animation to the other groups. Set them to start with previous and adjust the delay to 0.25 seconds for a smooth, seamless effect. Now, apply the same animation to the text groups using Animation Painter. And just like that, we have a sleek, fully animated infographic. And there you have it. Your professional, animated infographic is now ready to impress. Wasn't that easy? Just think about how much more visually striking and engaging your presentations will be with designs like this. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, it really helps the channel. And if you love learning cool PowerPoint tricks, Hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Thank you so much for watching, keep creating, keep innovating, and I'll see you in the next one.